Now I'm going to remove the wheel, take a 22 millimeter socket, remove the lug nuts. <laughs> and pull the wheel off. Now we're going to take the brake caliper off, use a 12 millimeter socket and take these two caliper bolts off. And grab the caliper. You might have to wiggle it back and forth a little bit and slide it out. Use a brake caliper hanger and attach it to the coil spring or somewhere that the brake hose is not being, uh, being pulled on too hard. And just take a straight blade screwdriver, pry out the brake pads. I'm going to take a 21 millimeter socket and take the caliper bracket bolts off. Pull those bolts off and slide the bracket back. Now take a hammer and just tap on the rotor in those locations. Make sure you don't hit the studs. Now it's loose from the hub itself, but the brake, um, the parking brake shoes are holding me up a little bit. So I gotta loosen those up. On the backing shield, there's this little window right here. There's a rubber grommet. Just take a screwdriver, take that off. On the passenger side, this is on the bottom. On the driver's side, it's on the top. And then there's a little wheel right there. That if It's like a star wheel. That's the adjuster. If you take, you can take a screwdriver and just find something that fits or you, a brake spoon what they call this and then to tighten this up you're gonna go and turn the wheel up just like this and grab the rotor and slide it right off now you want to clean the hub surface just use a wire brush or a die grinder just clean up some of the rust all right take the rotor just put it on backwards first Take some brake parts cleaner and just clean the rotor. Use a rag, wipe it off. Flip the rotor around. Do the same on this side. And now we want to adjust this up a little bit. Use a little, either a screwdriver or a parking brake tool. And just tighten it up. Just want it tight enough so that it just drags a little bit. That might be a little too tight. I'm just going to loosen. And you can always adjust it later if it's not tight enough. Tighten it up. And take this little cover. Just use a screwdriver or a pick. And just insert that. That's good. Now I'll take the clips off. Take a wire brush. Just clean off this area. Do the same on the other side. And take some brake caliper grease and just put it on this this point. And same on the other side. Take these pad clips or pad slides, press that there, and same on this side. 
Now I take the bracket and slide it in position over the rotor. Put the bolts back in. You can put some um, thread locker adhesive on these if you want to. And then torque these bolts to 132 foot pounds. You can put a little grease just where the pads are going to slide on the slides. That's good. And take the pads themselves, line those up. Do the same on the inside. Just like that. Now I take the brake caliper off the hanger. Before we compress the caliper, we have these slide caliper slides. You just take a screwdriver and push these through. Slide those out. Clean these off with a little bit of brake parts cleaner. And wipe them down. Take a little brake caliper grease and grease them up. And if they were extremely dirty, you could take these and clean these out in here. But these weren't too bad, so just take a little grease, slide those in there, and slide it back in. God. And that's good, and then you can do the same. And you can do the same for the other side. Now we want to compress the caliper. Just slide the compressor tool in there and slowly compress the caliper. All right, now that piston's all the way in. Now on the passenger side, you're going to start with the caliper on the top and fold it down. And on the driver's side, it's going to be the opposite. And put the bolts back in and get those started. And then torque these bolts to 24 foot pounds. And put the tire back up. And lug nuts. Now we're going to torque the wheel, tighten this down to 130 foot pounds in a star pattern. So you tighten the wheel down evenly. Now you want to pump the brake pedal nice and slow. There's going to be an air gap between the brake brake caliper piston and the brake pads. And once it feels good, that's good. And you want to double check the brake fluid reservoir. Make sure you have plenty of brake fluid. Make sure it's up to the max line. Adjust accordingly.